All right, you cool cats and kittens, this video is where the magic happens and we start talking about our substituted hydrocarbons. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can have pentane, which means that we can have five carbons and it ends in ane, so that is H2N plus two, so 12. But we can have all of these different isomers of pentane. Remember the first video? Okay, you can actually have four carbons in a chain with one carbon coming off of the second carbon, calling that chain butane, and then off of that second carbon having a methyl group, calling that 2-methylbutane. This is still one two, three, four, five. This is still C5H12. And you can have a dimethylpropane where you have a three carbon chain, propane, and then you have two methyl groups off of each of your central carbons, making this neo pentane or 2,2-dimethylpropane. We're not going to get into the ISO and the NEO in this course, but in future courses that you take, you'll get into ISO, ortho, NEO, meta, all of those different designations. But guess what? This one is still C5H12. <gasps> I love it. These are called the alkyl groups, which are the substitutions in your hydrocarbon. Okay, they have the same prefixes as the rest of the hydrocarbons, but they end with ul, okay, for the alkyl group. And mostly you really only need to know maybe up to pentyl. I mean, that's really, really long. Um, but they have the designation CNH2N plus 1 because they have this a bit availability to bond to the carbon chain. All right, so let's take a look at the IUPAC rules for alkane nomenclature. And IUPAC is the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, and they make all the rules. All right, so first things first, find the longest chain hydrocarbon, identify the groups that are attached to it, number the chain consecutively, starting at the end, that's going to have the lowest um, numbers for everything, designate your location, and then when you assemble the name, it has to be in alphabetical order, okay? Prefixes don't count. And it's not in the number order of where the substitutions are. Um, it's going to be in alphabetical order. I personally don't like this last rule, but I don't make the rules. Um, but we do it that way anyway. So it's 3-ethyl comes before 2-methyl. All right. So let's try some stuff. All right. Let's draw 3-methyl hexane. Okay, so first things first, if it is hexane, that is a six carbon structure. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and if we number them, one, two, three, four, five, six, it'll give us a better indication of where we put our substances. On the third carbon, we're going to put a methyl group. One, two, three. I'm going to put a methyl group. And then you can fill in your hydrogens as you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay? So this is going to be C7H16. If you were to draw it the way an organic chemist draws it, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, I went one too far. It's okay. You have erasers. Let's go, Mr. Eraser. And then you would put a methyl group coming off of carbon number three. So one, two, three. You would have that coming off. It doesn't matter if it's up or, or, up or below, but it works just the same. Okay? Two, two, or two, four dimethylpentane. So pentane is going to be our longest chain. One, two, three, four, five. 
Let's number them. One, two, three, four, five. And I am going to put two methyl groups off of carbon 2 and 4. So off of carbon 2 and off of carbon 4, I'm going to put a methyl group. And then I fill in my hydrogens as needed. So it will look like this. Or it will look like this. Either one is okay. They also have seven carbons and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Look at that. We're going to have some isomers of heptane. There's lots of different ways to draw them, and it is really kind of amazing and a very fun exercise of your brain. Okay, so you have your heptane, which is your seven carbon chain, and then you have hexane, and then you can substitute a methyl group on the second carbon or on the third carbon. And then you can break it down to a pentane and put uh, your methyl groups on carbon two and two, carbon two and three, carbon two and four, carbon three and three, and then you can start having your pentane group with an ethyl group or a 223 trimethyl butane when you truncate it down to a four carbon chain. <gasps> what fun! I love them all. All right, there are also some functional groups um, which we're not really going to get to in honors chem, but we will get to um, in other courses. One of the labs that we do is making an ester. An ester is an organic odor or smell, and that comes from taking a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. We're going to remove some water. We're going to dehydrate it, and we are going to make um, our ester. And you can see the linkage right here. All right, and. Um, you might have heard of some of these different things in um, biology class with our aldehydes and our ketones. Um, there's ethers, there's amide groups, amine groups, all that different kind of stuff. All right, so let's take a look at naming some of these hydrocarbons and see how we can do with them. All right, so let's take a look. We have one, two, three three carbons. So if you need to write me PB in the corner, please do so. Three carbons would be pro, and then they're all single bonds, pain. Look at that. Okay, this one right here, we have one, two, three, four carbons. So this is but, and then we have a double bond here. So that is ene. Oh, and one of the things that I forgot to um, put on here is this guy's supposed to have a hydrogen there. It's fixed in your worksheets, but not on this uh, parent slide here. All right, number three, we have one, two, three carbons, which is going to be your pro, and we have a triple bond, so that's different than our double bond. That's going to be pine, propine. All right, over here we have one, two, three, four, five carbons. So that is a pent, all single bonds, pentane. And then on this carbon right here, we have a methyl group, one carbon coming off of it. So let's be very careful when we number them. Should we number them one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five? That's right, it's 2-methylpentane. The lowest number carbon gets the specialness. All right, up here for number five, we have one, two, three. Ooh, what a trick, just a little bit of a bend. This is a four-carbon chain, okay? Check and make sure that you can keep your pen on the paper and you can actually trace your carbons. You couldn't do that over here, okay? One, two, three, four, five, and then I'm not following the bond to this one. So this is not a hexane. This is indeed a pentane, all right? 
So back up to this example, this is but, it has all single bonds, so this is butane. Over here we have one, two, three, and then we have a methyl group. So three carbons is going to be a propane, and then I have a methyl group on one, two, three, or one, two, three, on two methyl propane. Down here for number seven, we have one, two, three, four, five. So that is pent. I have a double bond, ene. And then let's take some guesses as to how we number this double bond. One, two, three, four, five. Or one, two, three, four, five. Yep, it goes between carbon two and three, so this is two pentene. What about this thing right here? All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Okay, so five carbons is the longest chain. And then we have this and this coming off of it. Kind of looks like a divide sign, right? So what we have here is a pentane, and then off of carbon three, we have two, two carbon chains. So we have a diethyl pentane, three, three diethyl pentane. All right. If you need to push pause and write them all down, you can, but those are our naming of our hydrocarbons. And now we're gonna go the other way and draw our hydrocarbons just like we did before. Okay, ethane, if you need to write again, VPB. All right, F means two carbons, so I have carbon, carbon, and then I draw my hydrogens like so. Another acceptable way to draw it is this way. Okay, two carbons single line. Okay, propene would be three carbons, so that would be one, two, three. Ene meaning a double bond, so I'm going to put that in there, and then I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five, six carbons in. The organic chemist way of drawing this would look like this. Okay, butene. I have four carbons, one, two, three, four. Double bond on carbon two. So I put that there. And then I put my three hydrogens here, one here, one here, and three hydrogens here. The organic chemist way of doing it would look like this. Carbon one, two, three, four, between two and three. Methane, that's one carbon with four hydrogens. The organic chemist way, ugh, they wouldn't even do that. It would just be a dot. All right, ethene, ethine, okay, is two carbons with a triple bond and one uh, hydrogen on each one. Our version would look like that. Mm. Next we have 3,3-dimethylpentane. So we take pentane first, one, two, three, four, five. And on carbon, one, two, three, we're gonna put a methyl group on each one. And then you can fill in your little caterpillar hydrogens, like so. And that would look like this with our pentane. And you would put a methyl and a methyl group like that. Kind of looks like a bird. Then we have 2,3-dimethylpentane. How's that going to be different? We're going to have our uh, five carbon chain, and off of carbon two and three, we're going to put our methyl groups, and then add in our hydrogens all around, like so. So this would look, here's our pentane, and then we would have a two and a three. And then n-butyne would look like this. Four carbons, and then we would have our double bond, and it looks like so. 